Hey YouTube, what's going on? SciGuy29 coming at you here from my beautiful classroom. Uh, it's a Sunday morning, trying to get some stuff ready. We come back to in-person learning tomorrow. Uh, had a few things that were in my mailbox every now and then. I have some stuff shipped here to school when I don't want it sitting in my mailbox at home. Today wasn't one of those days I just forgot to change where I had it shipped and it came anyway. So I thought, ah, what the heck, do a video. Still pretty excited, you can tell. Got my Iowa State stuff on. Big win over Texas on Friday, Black Black Friday. Uh, was it was a good day to be a Cyclone? Uh, all but assured themselves a spot in the Big 12 title game, which has never happened before. Uh, Iowa State hasn't won a conference title in football since I believe 1912. It's kind of 108 years. It's the longest drought uh, in Power Five conferences without a, a championship. So. Hoping to break that this year. Um, just a real quick video today. Uh, this is more of my hockey stuff. Uh, Tim Horton's hockey. Uh, look at it there. I've had singles before. I've never bought a pack. Um, this year I decided to jump in uh, and try to complete the Tim Horton set. Uh, I've got a few people lined up to do some trading with. Uh, with some other stuff that I have to finish it off. Going to still try to do the Series 1 uh, upper deck as well. That hasn't started yet. Haven't been able to get anywhere to get boxes. Hopefully Black Friday was hoping. Eh, didn't happen. Everything sold out really fast. But Tim Horton, for don't know, those that don't know, Tim Horton was a, an NHL player, really good player for the mostly Toronto Maple Leafs is who he's best known to be with. Uh, he now has like a coffee shop, Tim Horton's. Uh, and for the last several years, I don't know exactly how many years, You've been able to buy a package of three cards uh, for a dollar with the purchase of a beverage, or two dollars without. They have same. They have, it, it's a breakfast place. It's it's. I've never been to one. Nothing anywhere around me. But the hockey cards are always really cool. They're made by Upper Deck, and uh, these are the 2021 version. And uh, you can get autos. You can get redemptions for patch cards, stuff like that. Uh, very very rare. Very hard to hit. They have just some cool looking inserts. There should be two base and an insert in every pack. And uh, they're just really cool looking cards. These I didn't buy. I actually, I have six more packs coming that I, I won on auction on a steel bid basically. Never intended to really buy any of the, the unopened packs. It happened. Um, but this actually, I, I purchased, I think it was five singles. Uh, some Connor McDavid's and, and uh, Elias Pettersons from a guy, and he threw these three packs in. I, I didn't know they were coming. I was when I saw the envelope. I'm like, "Holy crap! This is what? What did I buy? I didn't think I hit the button that many times." But uh, there was three of these packs in there, so kind of excited to open them. Never done it before. And I always saw that people had trouble opening these packs, and uh, let's see what happens. So, uh, common cards, not too hard to get. The hard part is to get a binder that they go in. Uh, every year, Upper Deck puts out a binder for their Series 1. Uh, and I think Series 2. I've never seen the Series 2. I have a couple of the Series 1 binders. I'm going to do a video on that later uh, later in December or early January, probably once the NHL hopefully gets back going again. Um, but the Tim Hortons card binder is, like, really hard to come by. I don't know why. If anybody watches this, know why those are so hard to come by. I did take the plunge. And ordered one off of eBay, paid a little more than I wanted to, but it was the cheapest one by almost $15 I could find. So I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So let's see who we got here. Start off with uh, Connor Brown of the Senators. And then I'll go to the other base card, Connor Hellebuck, goalie for the Jets. You kind of see, you can actually feel, you can see the ripples on them down in here. You can actually feel that as well. Great looking cards, a little foil look to them. And our insert is a Mitch Marner. All-Star Standout. So that's what the All-Star Standout cards look like. Mitch Marner, good young player for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see what pack two holds. Rarely do I open packs on the channel. I don't know if I've ever done it before. I know I've tried to film a couple, but uh, I don't think I've ever actually put one on. So I thought, what the heck, this is a good time to do it. So let's see who we have here. Start off with a Riley Smith from Vegas. We're just going to go straight to the next card. Ooh, we have a canvas, Mitch Marner. 
These are the canvas cards are really cool if you've never seen them. I would. Uh, they're just a really cool insert. And then we have a Zach Wierenski from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, the canvas are always one of my favorite inserts in the regular upper deck, so no surprise, I guess, that they would be on this either. So third and final pack here. Like I said, uh, at Tim Hortons, these are about well, like a dollar a pack when you buy a coffee and $2 uh, if you don't. And then uh, if you want to buy them on eBay, though, you have a hard time finding them for less than, than like 3 bucks a pack. Uh, the ones I ordered, I think I got for two sixty-eight, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, but it, it is what it is. So next pack, we have a Jamie Benn, Dallas Stars. We have a red die cut of Drew Doughty, Vegas Golden Knights. and Or excuse me, Los Angeles Kings. Jesus, I knew that. And then we have a an Anthony Mantha of the Red Wings. So that gives you an idea. Uh, some of the other inserts they have uh, – are really, really cool. They've got gold etchings that I really, really like. Uh, I'm working on building that set as well. So let me know what you think about these. Uh, just excited to have some. Uh, never had them before. It was fun to open them. And uh, till next time, collect what you love, love what you collect. See you later.